I'm flattered to see I'm still so emblazoned on people's minds in this town. But then I suppose there's been quite a bit of interest in Philip's life. True. Now that he's dead. Very true. You've noticed this? There's even an author in town that's doing a biography on him. Really? An A.C. Mallet. Never heard of him. Well, he's not authorized, but that hasn't stopped him from digging for dirt. He must be a man of small talent. To be scrounging through another man's life. No vision. I take it you prefer fiction. Yeah, I must sound very judgmental. But when it's one's own craft, I write. Oh. Mainly poetry. Mm. Such a lost art. To which I am dedicated to revitalize. Well, I wish everyone had your integrity. I've been bombarded lately by these vultures, journalists, this author. Everybody wanting to pick my brain about Philip Spalding, and to be quite frank, I feel violated by the whole process. I don't understand. Why would they want to talk to you? Because I worked for Spalding for several years. In fact, Philip and I were very close. Really? Really. How is Spalding Enterprises these days? Still healthy? Extremely so. Wonderful. May I be very presumptuous? Sure. Are you involved with anyone? Yes, I am. I'm involved with someone at this very minute. I love a woman that's direct. Good. Would you arrange for my hotel room this evening? Yes, I do understand. But, no. All right, listen to me. If you take the cost of the executive suite and you split it between the two cards, now that's enough to cover it, right? <laughs> Great! Yes, I understand. I will pay for all incidentals cash. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Come on, Gary, keep it together. This one's worth it. This one's worth a gold mine. A real gold mine. So, is my hotel room taken care of? Of course it is. So, shall we go get ourselves checked in? Both of us? Rick, come on, open the door. I know you're in there, I saw your car. Please, Rick, come on. It's the good part, I promise. Mm. I love you, Rick. I know I've done a lot of stupid things and let things get in the way, but so have you, and I finally realized that none of that matters. The only thing that matters is that I love you, and, and we just should stop beating around the bush and stop hurting each other. And... Why is Beth here? Why is she dressed like that? Thank you.